Hello everyone, my name is May. I am a doctor, I'm a pediatric urologist and a pediatric surgeon, but I'm also an aesthetic physician. So I've been doing sort of aesthetic medicine, meaning Botox, fillers, um, chemical peels, PRP, vampire facelift, if you like, for quite a few years now. I think, yeah, actually four, 13 to 14 years. And um, yes, to cut a long story short, um, the idea of this video is, I know a lot of you will be very bored with lockdown and <laughs> hoping to go to your beautician hash aesthetic physician. And it's just not possible because obviously of the restrictions currently. And this is very understandable. Um, and the way this came about is I was having a chat last night with my friend Natalie, who's a beauty therapist, who was saying, oh, I wish I could have a chemical peel. I wish you could do a chemical peel on me. Essentially, it's a, it, it is the perfect time to have a chemical peel. Um, I will explain in a minute why, but essentially it will cause, having a chemical peel will cause peeling, sloughing, ugly skin, for about a week. And since we're all in a situation at the minute where nobody's going anywhere, unlikely to see anybody, um, this is the perfect time to do so. So my friend Natalie was like, I wish you could do one on me. And I'm like, um, I can't, but I could do a demo for you and you could possibly do it on yourself since you're experienced enough to do so. So the idea today is to show you a few procedures that I would perform on my patients, usually on myself, because I haven't anybody else to practice on. And uh, yeah, see what you think. So none of these things should be tried at home. The chemical peel is the exception to that. It is okay to try a chemical peel, a gentle chemical peel on yourself. So the difference with chemical peels is usually that the, the, the mild ones are okay. In fact, you can, you can buy lots of them over the counter and things like that. Um, there are some really, really good ones out there, but they're not the ones that give you a horrible peeling feeling. And they, of course, they do cause some degree of improvement in your skin, but it's not as effective as a proper medical grade peel, essentially. So they come in presets. So there's different kinds of peel. There are sort of the glycolic acid peels, the lactic acid peels. They're very, very, very good. Um, but when we want to talk about sort of the kind of peels that beauty therapists, nurses and doctors would use, um, we would use something stronger. So we would usually use something called a TCA peel. And again, with the TCA peel, there's different strengths. It can start anything 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. It goes right up to 70%, but 70% is... Yeah, I mean, you will burn the skin. So it is not to be used unless you are super, super, super trained to be, you know, using that kind of appeal. Anyway, so um, what I thought we're going to be showing today is a chemical peel. And I, as I also do sort of fillers, I, um, I was sort of hoping to top up my lips anyway. Now, again, likewise to the chemical peel, when you, um, you know, when, when, you, when you have your lip filler done, uh, there's a tendency to bruise, unfortunately. And obviously, you know, if I'm going about a week of work as per normal, I don't particularly fancy being very bruised in front of my patients and clients, etc. So I kind of postpone that you know, again, for a time period until I'm kind of sure that I'll not be seeing people I'm on holiday or something. There's never a good time really in my life. But again, at the minute, because of the lockdown and the nature of my shifts at present, I probably have a window of about three, four days where I don't necessarily need to see anybody except my poor children. But there you stood. Um, so it's okay to do so. So I thought I'll um, demonstrate lip fillers for you. I'll tell you a little bit about them and then in a second video we're going to do uh, the chemical peel so this is going to be 
hardcore, pain-wise, I mean, nothing else. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll talk you through it. In another video in the coming few days, I will also give you a live demo on Botox, but I'm not going to do that today because you shouldn't really, so after the chemical peel, the skin should really settle down. It's not okay to do a Botox treatment with a chemical peel. That's unsafe in my opinion. So I'm not gonna be doing that today. We'll do that in a few days, in a week maybe. And uh, we'll also film it and show it to you. So, okay. I'm just going to get ready with for the lip fillers and I'll see you in a few minutes. 